guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about gardening, which is kind of along the same theme of my Around the House series. And I think, you know, I know my channel is kind of going in a little bit of a different direction. Um, some of you may like it, some of you may not, but you know, I think it's just kind of going with my life and my life is kind of going in a different direction, but I'm not going to stop doing beauty and lifestyle videos. I think no matter what happens, hopefully in my life, I'll always care about taking care of myself. When I, when I sit down to think about what I'm going to do every week on my channel, what I'm going to film, what I'm going to put out there to the world, you know, sometimes I'm not in the mood to you know, talk about something beauty. Gardening has been something I haven't really been able to do in the past because Byron and I lived in apartments for the first seven years of our marriage. And um, my mom is actually a big gardener. She loves to garden. And I feel like the older that I get, I definitely like turn, I'm turning into my mom, which is not a bad thing, but it's just funny to see it because, um, once we moved here, I just started to really enjoy gardening. And one of our favorite kind of things to do is hang out outside. We live next to a lake, so Byron will fish. Oliver um, will play. Obviously, I always keep a really close eye on Oliver. And um, I just kind of stay outside there and watch him play. And while he plays, I usually garden or, you know, do something outside because that's kind of what makes sense. We're all kind of hanging out outside. So hence the tan. Um, I've been hanging out a lot outside and doing a lot of gardening. Me and Byron went shopping for a bunch of citrus trees and I really want to have like lemons, limes, uh, we had we got or blood oranges. I'm just kind of like dipping my toes into this whole gardening thing because I am not a gardening pro. I've always been somebody who kills all of my plants and I wanted to take on the challenge of caring for, you know, a variety of plants. I don't have tons and tons of space to garden. So where the majority of my space comes from is the side of the home and um, and then potted plants, which is what I'm gonna do because I have a very large patio that's kind of empty. And as I've been kind of looking at landscaping and um, designing the, the, out, the exterior of my home, kind of, you know, the patio area, I'm finding that I'm able to fill it up, fill up the empty space with plants, which is really nice with potted plants. So I live in Southern California and there's tons of nurseries. I mean, I go to Home Depot sometimes if I just need to go somewhere quick and get um, a few potted plants or potting soil, or you can even get, you know, really cool pots there. But we also have a really great nursery pretty close to us. I go to this place and I pick up really beautiful pots and I pick up my citrus trees and my herbs. So Byron has a little herb garden that he uses for his videos and uh, I'm sure most of you know that my husband has a cooking channel. It's actually more popular than mine. He like blew up, which is awesome because when he wins, I win. So um, that's good. But anyway, since he uses a lot of herbs for his channel, he has an herb garden. And so he kind of takes care of the herb garden. I wanted to plant some trees and I also wanted like potted flowers, potted lavender and different things like that. Now there's a few DIYs that you can do that I'm learning when it comes to gardening because you have a few things that you're worried about. You have weeds and you have bugs. I'm making a DIY bug repellent, which it is repelling. It is with garlic and mint and cayenne pepper and lavender and it does not smell good. So you want to keep that outside near your plants because it does repel bugs. And then weeds, weeds are something you have to be concerned about and obviously making a weed killer, you, it's really easy. You can make a do-it-yourself one. Those two things can really kind of help in the beginning process because bugs and weeds kind of get in the way and then it's hard to find something that's natural to kind of repel them. Um, the other thing is that when you're first starting to plant, you sometimes forget which one's which. So I made these little markers. Um, these are DIY markers that you can put. So for instance, I'm planting citrus trees. The citrus doesn't grow right away. You don't have citrus right away. So for a few months, um, you know, the little markers will help remind you like, you know, which tree or which plant you have. Um, another great tip is to make a watering schedule. We are in a drought right now in California, so 
I have to reduce my water, not only taking showers and um, kind of being mindful about how much water I use, but also with my plants. You know, I'm either buying fruit that is being watered or I can, you know, be mindful of the water I'm using and kind of grow some of my own vegetation so that I don't have to buy it from the market. So I'm saving money and hopefully in the long run saving water. Um, so creating a water schedule so that you don't overwater, so that Byron doesn't end up watering when I was supposed to water or whatever, creating a water schedule is great. And if you start having more and more plants, you do need a watering schedule to remind you which plants need watering and, and so on and so forth. So I had a lot of indoor plants when I lived at my apartment because I really liked it. And um, you know, some plants, if you do some research, can filter the air and it's actually really, really beneficial to have plants. I feel like not only do they make you feel happier um, just because you have something living in your house, so I love to have flowers. Plants are something that are, are always recommended to kind of fill empty spaces in houses when you're designing. And there's um, a movie I really like called The Holiday with Cameron Diaz and the house she has in California is really like my style for a home. It's kind of like a California earthy home. And when I was moving into this house, I was watching that movie actually during Christmas time and she had, or you know, her home, obviously it was a set designer who, who did it, but her entire house was like so many plants everywhere filling in space spaces that you would find a hard time kind of filling in normally, you can put plants there. And you'd be surprised at just how much life it brings to a house. So I have indoor plants that, you know, I obviously need to schedule when I water. And then now that I actually have a backyard and a patio and a front yard, um, I wanted to have a garden as well. It's hard to know sometimes who watches my videos, whether you're in college or you're in an apartment or you're in a house. And I can say that I've been through all of those phases of life. Like I've been a college student living at home with my parents. I've lived in an apartment for years for me it's enjoyable to really take care of the things that I have and just make the best of what I have I remember there'd be times when I lived in the apartment and I just would feel kind of discontent and feeling like I really want to move into a house and it's not happening and I, we're not ready for that yet and so I would just try to make the best of the apartment and I think adding plants and flowers and just trying to keep it clean and you know, minimal, you know, purging when I need to so that I, you know, so that my house looks clean and happy and fresh um, made me feel a lot better. And that's the same thing wherever you live. So um, I definitely recommend getting, if you don't want to do like a ton of plants, maybe just getting one or two and starting with that. And if you're the type of person who, like me, always killed plants, which trust me, I killed every single plant I ever owned, it's just a matter of kind of, um, learning about it and it's it's almost like taking on a hobby and I think it just takes a little bit of kind of learning about your plant and then you kind of become attached to it like you really want to see your plants grow you want to see them thrive and when they're not you want to figure out why they're not and it just makes you feel happy to see beautiful flowers and um, I just got some lavender and whenever the lavender kind of dries out I use that you know I can put it in like little pouches and I let Oliver smell it or whatever and it's just it's fun and it's really um, for me it's really enjoyable um, yeah so this is my video on gardening hopefully you guys enjoyed I have a few more beauty videos coming up this week so keep your eyes out for that um, yeah hopefully you guys enjoy this video and I'll see you very soon bye